Ultra High Def TVs have been around for more than a year, but showing off your holiday snaps is still one of the prehistoric suggestions made by manufacturers to make use of one. So how can we brag about owning the very latest telly without looking like we've bought an oversized digital photo frame? Solution number one, get a 4K camera. This one costs, yes, you guessed it, about 4K in dollars. But at least you'll be able to view your filmmaking in ultra high def. Solution number two, stream YouTube's 4K channel. There's not a massive amount of choice, mainly movie trailers or short films littered with beauty shots designed to show off your new TV without necessarily entertaining you. <clears throat> without entertaining you. One way to get this up and running is by using a powerful computer to hook up to your telly. Both will need to have the latest version of HDMI. That's 2.0. That standard was only formalised last month, so your computer probably doesn't have it. 1.4 doesn't do a bad job, but it's not the full UHD experience. Solution number three, get Sony's Video Unlimited 4K download service. This box stores the movies and acts as a video player. You can download and play an unlimited number of ultra high def films with 70 titles to choose from. That's why they call it Video Unlimited. Oh, and it only works in the US. Note the emphasis on downloading before playing rather than simply streaming content. Big film services like Netflix don't plan to stream 4K for at least another 12 months and reckon we'll need a steady 15 megabits per second to do it. Hmm. Walking around the beautiful new 4K TVs at Europe's biggest consumer tech show last month it sometimes seemed like the tech industry had forgotten that we actually might want to watch something other than, well, this. Confusion over connectors, concerns that our PCs simply aren't powerful enough to play back smoothly the huge files, that we don't have enough bandwidth to stream this kind of stuff over the web. They're all worries, but perhaps the solution we'd be most comfortable seeing is a souped up Blu-ray player. Well, that's not even being touted here, which means it's probably at least a year away. So, while we're waiting, solution number four, video games. A growing number are being produced for these screens, offering four times the resolution of existing HD. But they can only work through the PC platform, and even next-gen consoles like the PS4 and Xbox One are unlikely to be able to offer full UHD when they're launched next month. This is full HD and, now... and so finally to solution number five, live ultra-high-def broadcasts. This is a live test broadcast, with content coming via satellite to this set-top box. So when will we see that in our homes? You can buy set-top boxes which are able to receive the signals probably at the end of the year 2014 and we will probably have some commercial services for broadcasters starting via satellite broadcasting UHD um, like 2015, maybe 2016, we hope of course 2015. 2000 and when? So if we don't want to rely on these screens guessing what most of their pixels should look like, a process known as up smaller images, we'll just have to wait. While we are, you might like to test out the world's first 4K smartphone camera, out later this month. Best of luck getting the results onto your new telly, and don't shoot more than 10 minutes, or there may not be enough space to take any holiday snaps.